podcast and YouTube blog covering the German startup scene with news, interviews, and live events. Hello and welcome everybody. This is Joe from StartupRate.io, again here for you in the Innovation Center talking with a startup from the Accelerator program. Today I have Ayo here with me. Hey, welcome. Hi, nice to meet you, Joe. It's completely my pleasure. And you are here because? Uh, I'm here because of LiveBank, and I'm here to tell you about our story. That is pretty cool. Um, can you first tell us a little bit about you, about your background, and how you, how this drove you towards the idea of LiveBank? Okay. Um, I, um, I live in the Michael. Um, I have over five years experience as a developer in the healthcare center, healthcare uh, technology and the finance technology. So you, you've been actually a coder, developer? Yeah, basically I've been a coder all my life. Okay, that is pretty interesting. What did you code? Um, I actually do like multiple languages and over time I, I found myself in the healthcare system. Um, so um, I I ran into the founder of uh, LiveBank of at a co-sharing working space mm -hmm. where she, where she was telling me about an idea she had a while back and, um, and I was still currently working on a, an healthcare system for an hospital back then. So we decided um, to Where was this co-working space you actually uh, met her? Well, we met in a co-working space in Lagos, Nigeria, Lekki. Okay. And we, we decided to collaborate on, on the idea and that she had an idea yeah. and you had the coding skills? Exactly. Ah, there you go. Okay. And then there was, an, there was the part of LifeBank. Okay. And uh, what does LifeBank actually do? Okay. Uh, LifeBank is a medical distribution company. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to reduce the inefficiency of uh, discovery and delivery of medical products in Africa. Mm -hmm. And what are there as ineffective? efficiencies you, you, you want to solve, you want to okay, reduce? Um, let me give you an example. Currently, mm -hmm. we focus on the blood system now, mm -hmm. and the, the, the way it's currently being done is a uh, hospital uh, wants a certain type of blood type, uh, probably let's say O negative or o positive or AB negative, uh, and they have to go through a long process of trying to get the blood. So. There's no current uh, centralized unit, uh, system for locating medical products. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we, we provide a platform where there will be a centralized system mm -hmm. and then they can discover easily so they can give different criteria which they want to use to Just to stay that. with the example of the hospital, basically there's a hospital, yeah. it looks for A, B, negative yeah. blood yeah, exactly. and they can go on your platform, platform yeah. and search who has exactly. Ne okay. exactly and then we deliver the product to them in less than 55 minutes oh and you're also involved then in the delivery yes in the logistic system okay and just before we get a little bit into the logistic system what what does life bank cover we just talked about blood and that's what you're focusing on are there other medications, um, whatever items that you are focusing on? Or is it for now just blood and then you expand further? Okay, currently we're focused on blood, uh, but we are expanding to components and uh, vaccine and mm -hmm. oxygen. Uh, what type of vaccines? Uh, general vaccine anyway, mm -hmm. uh, but basically focused on uh, vaccine towards children. Ah, okay, yeah, very important to find the right vaccines in time, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, so I assume you had an important role in coding this platform? Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, what, what part of the logistics then actually starts? So let's get back to the example. You have a okay. hospital, yeah. it goes on life bank, it finds the right blood, yeah. and then? And then... Uh, Place the order, and mm -hmm. then it, it, the system triggers our our AI, and then a notification is sent out to the logistics guys, and a dispatch goes pick the blood in the code chain system. Now the code chain system is uh, compliant with the WHO standard, so mm -hmm. it's the dispatch goes deliver you to the hospital. 
And ju just to make sure, like, not everybody just could transport blood. Like, when you put it in the trunk of a car and you drive for a few, for a few minutes, it's gone. It's over. You yeah, can't use yeah, it anymore. Yeah, yeah. so uh, the, the way we, we make sure that uh, we use iTech and Lutech to make sure that everything works fine. So um, for us, we make sure that the temperature is, uh, is uh, normalized during the transportation. We have a, a mm -hmm. tracking system that tracks where the dispatches, we usually we deliver with bikes, motorbikes. Mm -hmm. So we track where the dispatch is and there's a security lock on the on the box itself. So no mm -hmm. one can access the box unless you are specified to access the box. And the logistics guys, like you call them, yeah. you're working with external companies? No, no, no. They are actually in us. We are all, all the uh, steps in the process is done in us by house. Ah, okay. So basically, you have like one office, you dispatch the driver to get the plot from the, from the hospital, maybe offering it, and then bring it to the hospital that needs it. Oh, well, we, are, we have a centralized office, but most of our dispatch uh, uh, spe uh, stationed in different hubs. So we, oh, we have yeah. different hubs because we need to make sure that the time uh, difference is very reduced from the point of ordering to the point of delivery. Mm -hmm. So we have different hubs across the state. And once an uh, order comes in, notification is channeled directly to the closest hub of mm -hmm. where you need it's the other so the dispatch picks from his up mm -hmm. goes to the nearest hospital so there is we have like over 50 blood banks mm -hmm. on our system so each of these blood banks are being allocated into different hubs mm -hmm. so it's easier that way and how many hubs are you currently running currently in lagos we have three hubs and okay and expanding. i assume the traffic can get a little bit crazy there yes very okay. crazy okay i see and um um, how do they deliver, deliver it like on a motorcycle? Yes, on it, a motorcycle. Yeah, it may be the fastest way, that, right? That's the fastest way because they can actually go in between the traffic. If you're using bus or cars, they get trapped in the traffic, but yep. motorbikes can go in between and around the traffic. And they have like a box in oh. the back or a backpack or no, something? So there, there is a steel bus that's holding the, the, the cold chain box itself. So we have a, a protective box that is guiding the the coaching box that has the blood in it. Mm -hmm. So there are like several layers of yeah, security. Yeah. And I assume the box has your nice logo outside of it. Well, <laughs> well. You, can, you have to go to our site and see the, 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 the bikes itself. So there's okay. a giant picture of the bike on our, our website. Okay, and of course, for everybody who's interested, go down here in the link and you will find the website and your LinkedIn page so everybody can look up and have, um, have if they have more questions, they can yeah. reach out straight to you. Yes, sure, sure. And as the people can see, we're right now here in the Innovation Center and you're here like now in Germany, in Darmstadt. Yeah. But how did it help you to get um, a healthcare company in Lagos, in Nigeria, ahead? How did you interact with the program so far? Okay, uh, the program itself has been uh, a mind, mind blowing <laughs> <laughs> event. Um, so, um, so far, uh, the innovation center, especially the accelerator team, has been been helpful with mm -hmm. network and um, and workshops. Mm -hmm. Now, so far, um, currently, example, I'm a typical nerd. I don't like crowd. I don't like talking to people and. Innovation Center had been able to put up uh, a workshop for me that, that will help me sharpen my pitching skills. Like with other nerds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I can, I can, I can, normally I won't be able to do this, have a conversation with you on the camera, but part of the training like also helped me to understand that I need to do this. And Don't do worry. The skill on how to Deep do inside, this. I'm also a little bit a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> we are all a nerd anyway, depending on what, what we are trying to do. Okay. And what do you think about this very fancy, but sometimes, sorry guys, a little bit noisy innovation center? How do you like it? I actually don't think it's noisy. Yeah? I think the walls absorb the sound. Okay. Yeah, ju just an excuse to have a little bit background noise here yeah, during the recording. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but uh, the innovation center itself, it's a very well open space. You don't feel confined when you're walking. Mm -hmm. the, the lighting is good. The... the the, the, I don't know how to describe it. 
it's very relaxing. That's mm-hmm. that's the purpose of the it's space. open. Yeah, yep. open space. Mm-hmm. So it helps you relax and you get more work done. Cool. Well, best of luck for your future adventures. Yeah, thanks. Uh, enjoy the other nerds, <laughs> <laughs> and um, hope to see you again. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure. It was my pleasure too. Welcome to StartupRad.io, your podcast and YouTube blog covering the German startup scene with news, interviews, and live events.